Okay, so next I wanted to just uh, review the flute situation. So in the case of the flute, you, you don't have a reed. You're blowing directly into a hole in the instrument. And in this case, the physics that drives the oscillation has to do with the air jet that you produce with your lips. Okay, so there's this jet of air when you're playing the flute that you basically aim for the far edge of this embouchure hole. And so that's the situation with the flute with the recorder. You don't have to work as hard. You don't have to make a fine narrow jet of air with your mouth because the mouthpiece of the recorder does that for you. So you just blow into it <clears throat> and the recorder channels your breath into an air jet which then is directed towards this edge that kind of divides the outside of the instrument from the inside of the instrument. So in both cases, you've got a continuous air jet that's sent towards the edge of a hole that goes into the instrument. So the question then is, how is it that during the playing of the instrument, when you're just blowing continuously how is it that that produces an oscillating wave inside the instrument and kind of reinforces that sound, so, so that standing wave that you need to produce the tone? So maybe just think about this a little bit. Uh, let me just show you the, the flute and what's going on. So remember the standing wave inside the flute, you have air that's oscillating back and forth and at the end, it's a large amplitude of oscillation, but also at this hole, because the flute is an open, open tube, there's a large amplitude. And so you actually have air going out and going in and going out and going in. And so I want you to think about if I'm blowing a jet of air right at the edge of that hole, how would that be affected by air going into the hole and air coming out of the hole? How might that help in reinforcing the oscillations inside the flute. Okay, so let's have a look at the diagrams here that show the tube, this is the tube of the flute near the location of this embouchure hole. And so I'm not really showing the, the other part. So there's, there's a little bit more of flute, but then there's a closed end here. And so what I want to do is think about what happens to this air jet, which is aimed right at the edge of the hole. I want to think about what happens when the air is either going out of the hole or going into the hole. So during the standing wave oscillation of air in the flute, during the part when the air is going out of the hole, what that will do is it will deflect the air jet upwards a little bit. So the the air here is going to exert a force on the air jet, which was aimed right for the edge of this hole, and instead it will be deflected upward. And so during that part of the oscillation where the air is leaving the hole, then my air jet that I'm producing is not going into the flute. On the other hand, during the other half of the oscillation, when air is actually entering the hole, so, so these little arrows are the motion of air because of the standing wave inside the flute. So then there's air rushing into the hole that will actually press down on my, the air in my air jet and it will deflect it a little bit so that it actually goes into the instrument instead of out of the instrument. And so what you see is that right when the air is going to the right, you get this extra push from the air jet produced by your mouth. And so that reinforces this part of the oscillation. Whereas when the air is going the other direction, then the air jet does not go into the tube, uh, which is good because if it did, that would mess up, uh, that would tend to dampen the oscillation because you'd have these uh, two directions of air competing with each other. So just like the situation with the reed, then we have the oscillation of the air inside the tube being reinforced by the air jet. Even though that's just a continuous air jet, it deflects upward and downward in response um, to the standing wave that's already there. Okay, so I'll just show you a quick demonstration of that. 
So the Yamaha Corporation, who make a lot of flutes, made a little video to help us understand this. Okay, so you can see the, the blue is the air jet by the player and it's oscillating up and down. And this is in response, as we'll see, to this motion of, of air inside the tube already.